Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Reality Adventure. Today we are going to look at how to take full control of your Oculus Quest microphone intensity level and speaker volume level from your PC. For this we are going to use the virtual desktop app and most interestingly you do not even need to use the Oculus Home app for this. So let's get started. Okay, for this to work, we are going to have to install two different softwares on your PC. The first one is the SideQuest app and the next one is the Virtual Desktop Streamer app. And on your Quest side, you will have to get the Virtual Desktop app. It's available on Oculus Quest Store for a small price. First, go to um, SideQuestVR.com. Here, if you click that, you will be directed to this page setup dash how to it's a way to sideload apps on your oculus quest that are not on the official oculus quest store so you can follow along with the tutorial from Cass and cherry they have great tutorial for installing side quest on your pc but we will be skimming through the steps in this video i already have downloaded side quest here you can access, allow it all the users to use this software you will just click on only for me click on next click on install and it will get installed very quickly uncheck the side quest button finish let's download the virtual desktop streamer app as i have downloaded i have installing it so click on the install button here will be it will be checking for a new version and it will be set up very quickly just uncheck that and click finish Go to your uh, setup how to on sitequestvr.com. Go uh, scroll down a bit, and you will have to go to dashboard.oculus.com, where you will create an organization. We already have an organization there, so let's just show you to you here. We already have a um, Facebook account, so we are going to log in using that. So we already have logged into if you don't have organizations you can just uh, create your organization you will be given an option to create an organization first here I already we already have created one next step is that you have to install the drivers and for that you have to go to this link and you have to click I have read and agree to the terms and click on download so I have extracted it and let's go inside uh, that folder and click on here right click and click on install and this is the driver so that you can connect your oculus quest with your uh, PC click on install this is the Android ADB driver you need it to allow for SideQuest to install apps on your Oculus Quest so that step is done next you have to enable developer mode and reboot your Oculus Quest headset so let's move on to that to activate the developer option for your Oculus Quest just open your oculus app on your android phone which you already should have installed because you have set up your oculus quest so go inside your app and then go to settings then after going to settings you should be able to see the quest nearby and tap on your quest 2 as you can see the green light is showing up and the battery level is also displaying then if you just tap on this arrow in this side you will be able to get some more options and click on more settings and there you will be able to see the developer mode tap on it and just uh, click on this toggle button to enable the developer mode on your oculus quest reboot your oculus quest headset you have done that you can just go uh, start your uh, side quest 
as you can see here is the orange icon here so the device is uh, not connected not detected so let's bring our quest and connect it to the PC you will be shown an allow USB debugging and check on the always allow from this computer if you are if you trust your computer or laptop whichever you're using so click on allow and also you can uh, you should allow access to data click on allow and your computer should be installing some drivers you should be able to see the green uh, button green light here pop up so you can be assured that your uh, quest is already connected for the next step you will have to install the side quest uh, vr desktop patch you just have to go to your side quest and type vr virtual desktop vr patch click on it and you should be see able to see that install to your headset you have to click on it it's already installed so you can just see the allowed tasks virtual desktop vr patch file transferred successfully so that's for that step next what you have to do is uh, just uh, go to your sound settings you can see the virtual desktop audio has been added to your pc so if you go to right click if you right click on your microphone or the speaker button here and go to sound open sound settings you can see the master volume this is the volume uh, level of your the speaker of your computer and you can change the level like this yes so if you switch to virtual de uh, desktop audio you will be controlling the audio of your headset but we will not going to do it right now we have to uh, turn on the um, virtual desktop app on your quest and also the virtual desktop streamer app on your desktop so let's open the streamer app first the streamer app opened and you can write your username here can see the icon is kind of uh, again uh, a bit orangish because it's not connected let's uh, get into the oculus quest and start the virtual desktop app you can disconnect the oculus link cable or any cable that you are using to connect your uh, quest to your pc because the um, patch has been installed from your side quest you do not need side quest uh, anymore so you can close that too After starting, the virtual desktop app will scan for all the PCs of the network who have the virtual desktop streamer running and list them all one by one. Here as you can see, our computer is showing. Just clicking on it will get the quest and the PC connected. As you can see, the icon turns from orange to green and the bottom icon also turns green uh, click on the menu option button in your uh, left controller and you will be seeing some options click on settings and here you will be presented with some more settings like you will be clicking on here microphone pass through so it's on in sticked right so if you just stick it your computer will be able to access your microphone settings too like as you can see now it's using the virtual desktop audio this is the volume of your uh, uh, VR headset or the Quest so if you just increase or decrease it you will be able to hear it on your Quest and also you can see the virtual desktop audio here as, a, as you can see, I am speaking and the microphone is speaking now. 
and if you if you click on the device properties you will see the intensity level of your microphone on your oculus quest so if you just click on the intensity gets dimmer and if you click on here in, this is the maximum intensity so now you can change the intensity of your microphone and your um, speaker of your oculus quest from your pc via virtual desktop uh, this computer currently doesn't have oculus home installed To get the concept through, we have connected our Oculus Quest with a PC which has Oculus Home installed. As you can see, our Oculus Quest is connected with the PC via Oculus Link cable and also the virtual desktop is connected. As you can see, the green color icon here and here. And if I now change the virtual desktop master volume to 40% as you can see here 40% and I go to Oculus Home and click on the Oculus Quest and as you can see the headphones of Quest 2 is now 40% and now if I go into the input and microphones section device properties and change the intensity to kind of let's say 20 and if I go into the Oculus Home and click on the Quest and you can see the um, Oculus Quest 2's microphone setting is also get decreased to 20%. So this works uh, almost exactly the same as the Oculus uh, Home application. So this is a very easy way to actually ch access the original um, microphone and speaker levels of Oculus Quest from your PC without even using the Oculus Home software. These are also changing as we change the settings here and here. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this video of informative, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and uh, support us to help us get encouraged to make more videos like this. Have a great day.